The Kevin Long Show is a production of Southgate Media Group. You can find us at www.southgatemediagroup.com. The music is The Entertainer by Kevin McLean of Incomputech.com. Royalty-free music as long as you give the dude his props. However, there is a legal disclosure in the show notes giving us proper permission to use this music. The Kevin Long Show is sponsored by Tweak Audio. Do you know a podcast fan? For totally awesome headphones, free shipping, and 30% off, head over to tweakedaudio.com and enter the coupon code SOUTHGATE. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. that time of the week again it's also that time of the year again holy cow you guys the kevin long show is five years old and wow what can i say it's been fun we're starting to pick up more steam and the lack of steam that we've had has been my fault but there's stuff coming i'm going to get more reviews more interviews i'm excited for what's going to be 2001. And I am so grateful for what we have had. David A. Hill, Moss Aids Concepts interview, interviews with Jesse Jackson, which another one's coming up soon. I need to reach out to him and figure out when we're gonna do our annual sit down and chat episode. Got Carlos Blessing of Castle Entertainment, I once talked to him about doing a quarterly show, and then that kind of fell through the cracks. I should reach out to him about doing that again. If we do it, won't start it until first quarter of 2001, 2001, of 2021. And yeah, sweet niblets. So I guess in the spirit of the show, I don't know. Don't forget Team Public. Go check out the shirts. I'm going to start doing that too. I'm going to work on more shirts. I got GIMP on my computer now and can probably do do more shirts. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I need content to get it out. I might make a five-year shirt. That would be amazing. And if you don't want shirts, they have mugs. They have notebooks that you can use for your DM notes, rather it be D&D or L5R or Call of Cthulhu. It would be freaking amazing. And yeah, there's that. There's also the 2020 Southgate Media gift guides that are out now. And check that out. There's some good stuff. So there really isn't anything to this show except to say thank you for supporting me for five years. And also I did this interview with Martha Southgate, one of the owners of Southgate Media Group about her playing Dungeons and Dragons for the first time ever. And yes, I have always loved Martha Southgate, rather it be on her show Broken to Brave or cuckoo for who or binge worthy but then doing the interview with her oh man guys if you ever get the chance to meet Martha Southgate don't miss that opportunity so here is the interview that I did with her about Dungeons and Dragons and it might get a little choppy because we use discord I use Discord because in all the interviews that I've done with Discord, it has never failed me. We got disconnected three times in this interview, so I hope it's good. And Discord, if you ever let me down again, I will be so, so All right, it's that time of the week again. Time for the Kevin Long Show, and I'm your host, Kevin Long. And today, I have a special guest, one of the owners of Southgate Media, and co-host of multiple shows and the host of Broken to Brave. I had to think about that for a minute. (laughs) Martha Southgate, welcome to the Kevin Long Show. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's exciting to be on. And you have a fantastic voice for podcasting. Oh, thank you. (laughs) 
I don't think anyone's ever said that before, but I appreciate really? it. Really? Okay. Well, I think we all need to hear it sometime, right? Yeah. That's... Thank you. Mm-hmm. So the reason I have Martha on today is because she sat down with Rob and her daughter to play Dungeons and Dragons. My first question yes. is, was this something that was planned or was it spontaneous and was it just the three of you or was it a whole quote unquote D&D group of okay. six to however many people? <laughs> Okay, so Rob has been wanting me to play for a long time, and I, I was actually interested, and and then COVID hit, and um, it's a little bit challenging to for it to be your first time, maybe, um, maybe it, maybe that's not for most people, or for me, it was a little bit more challenging having my first time be over Zoom. <laughs> so, um, so we did video. And I only knew, um, I actually didn't really know any of that. There were three, I think there were three, one, two, three, four, five. I think there were three other people. Okay. And, um, and I only had met one briefly, uh, I think. So I like, I didn't know these, I didn't know these people. Um, it was a, it was a thing put together by someone that we do, um, a program at Otherworld Theater in Chicago does a program called Gateways. And um, if you're a Star Trek fan, uh, Gates McFadden, do you know who she is? I do not. Um, Well, she was there hosting an event they did, and she said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could bring authors, science fiction and fantasy writers together with actors and, and have them read each other, like read, their work and yeah. be able to see their work read publicly. So they created the, and so it's called Gateways after Gates McFadden. That's and cool. um, so Molly has been doing it for a while. She's been reading for, for this program and then Rob started and then I started. And, and so the guy who um, currently runs it was creating a group or has a group or I don't know if he already had it going for a long time, but he said, you know, do you guys want to play? And so it was, it felt spur of the moment to me because it didn't give, they didn't give me like six months notice. <laughs> um, so everything that feels like, you know, that's less than six months notice feels like, you know, that's thrown at me because okay. um, I'm an, I'm an introvert and I really don't. Um, and I don't do things like this. Well, like, uh, like, uh, doing a, a brand new game I've never played, um, with total strangers, you know, it's really on, on a video is like even worse, you know? So there were, there were lots of, elements to it that made me um really rethink my life choices <laughs> but um but it was uh it it was terrifying at first because I first of all don't know any of the lingo and and as you know there's a lot of very there's a lot of uh, language that is very unique to right that world yeah well I didn't know it and so I was sitting there going, roll a what? Like, do a what? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing what now? And um, and so I really kind of panicked, you know, for a, a, a... It took me a while to settle in. And I think the game was like three, three or four hours long. Like, it was a long night. And, um, and so it took me probably about an hour or so to really kind of settle in and feel like oh I maybe am kind of getting the hang of this but that that first time it's like okay now now tell me about your character what's your character doing I'm like my who is what I don't <laughs> like you're an elf something I'm like I'm an elf okay I I like my experience with elves is like breakfast cereal maybe you know those are leprechauns I have no experience with elves so I was like <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, so I maybe needed, uh, I needed like Rob to uh, maybe give me something before that. Like I maybe needed a, a primer or something, you know, like I needed some, some way of somebody teaching me something, mm-hmm. maybe a little bit more. Um, and I, and I wouldn't have felt so lost, but but as it kind of went along, I was like, oh, I'm getting the hang of this now. Like, oh, okay. 
oh, so I can throw this thing? Wait, I have this. Does that work? And then they'd all go, oh, my God. Like, she totally, ha- you have that? <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, I got this thing. It says I can burn everything to the ground, you know, like whatever. <laughs> and uh, so then, then it became rather fun. Like, once I could kind of get into the character and like get into the storyline and the storyline was quite fun and and it was really good because we worked as a team and so everybody was kind of helping each other and working together to to accomplish a goal and so i think for me that really really helped good good the... i have no idea if i answered your question because that was like four hours ago and i don't remember what the question was I honestly don't remember what it was either, but that was good. So okay, even, all right, there you go. even I, I think the question was like, was this spontaneous or is it something you had planned for a while? Okay, and so I gave a whole dissertation that had nothing to do with any of that. But yeah, it was spontaneous for pretty much. Yeah, because yeah. anything before six months is, is spontaneous you for you. Yeah. See, I you listen. <laughs> listening you were you were listening yeah the, i didn't even remember the, I said that. yeah the storyline was it was it something that this guy had written or was it a pre-made adventure that is a really good question let me yes he wrote that um, perfect and so um yeah and we had to do something where we had to get this cart and we had to go with all these people and take this cart somewhere and and then try to defeat some, you know, like try to get rescue somebody or do, I can't remember exactly. Gotcha. It was a while ago. That's, but, that's um, cool. But yeah, it was very fun. So you said that you've played twice, but you also said it was a while ago since you did this adventure. Was the second time that you played a different, a different group was, or same group, different adventure? Diff- Different adventure. Totally, totally different group. Wow. And it was, uh, it was, it was less fun for me. I was, I was rather excited and looking forward to it because I had had a really positive experience on the first one. And then the second one, um, there was, it was very strange and they were, like no one wanted to work together Hmm. so it'd be like oh but i have this if we just pull that and that we could do that and then they'd be like just ignore like like as if no one was talking (laughs) like it was very strange and so it was not i could not wait to get that one over um because that was really um uh, it really, and if that had been my first time playing, I don't think I would have ever agreed to play again. That that just was going to because... be one of my next questions is if this had yeah. been, because I think that that's definitely something people people face is that, and and it's not just D and D; it's anything. If you have a bad experience the first time, why why would you even risk? Well, there's the potential to have yeah. a good time, but still, it's. It's kind of gone. Did you did you play the same kind of character the second time, or did you try something new? Rather it be a dragonborn paladin or not an elf. <laughs> okay, um, I played the same character since I was playing with new people. It wasn't the same organization. It was a different group um, entirely, and um, and so I thought, you know, let me just play the same one and then I'm not starting completely over um again and so I was um like I was like a healing cleric okay something or other um and I was I was diminutive so (laughs) so I think I was an elf I can't remember but um something like that and and angry I was an angry elf and um but very much you know like um justice you know um uh there were rules you know there are rules and so that was my character pretty much and and so i thought well if i play the same one i'm not coming in at such a deficit and maybe i'll you know be able to ease it and so i thought it would be um a little bit more like the first one in terms of the group play that 
but nobody wanted to work together. And so it was just uh, like five, five, uh, six people, five or six people just not connecting. Gotcha. And so it's a little strange for me. I don't know. Is that normal? Like, do you play that way where you're not really? I, uh, yeah. I think it depends on most of the time I work with the group. But there have mm -hmm. been times that, like, my character just isn't... I will work with the group to accomplish my objectives. Mm -hmm. But if my objectives aren't going to be met, if I work with the group, then I do... Then I do what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, this was, like, the entire time, if you would even say, like, well, you know, if, I, if we, I have this and you have that, if we put them together, we could take that out, you know, and it would just yeah. be, like crickets like there'd just be no response That's like it was just really like weird. i don't even exist like it was very strange and and so it was it was very frustrating for me and not very fun right um and so i realized like what was and you had asked before you said but if you had if you'd had a bad experience first would you why would you try it again well for me i think i would have gone you know what maybe if i try a different style or a different group or a different something or you know what i mean like i would always give something another chance yeah yeah no um, totally but but it was um he would have had a rob would have had a hard time getting me back on board if that one had been the first one gotcha <laughs> so even though there's an element of me that would go oh i get it yeah you know what i can try it again maybe this one will be i it still would have probably been a long time before yeah. he could get me back on that horse so that, to speak that makes sense um but uh but yeah it was just a very very different playing experience and that first group was willing to talk about the things a little bit and go okay you know so if you're going to use that oh, that does this, or oh, that means that, or, you know what I mean? It was just kind of nurturing, and um, and I, I, I needed that, and I think that I was, I was uh, looking for that type of experience, um, and I guess that is maybe unusual. Gotcha. I don't think so. it's that unusual. So, okay. was, was this something that was, you said you had been interested in it for a while, is it something that was on your list of things to accomplish or or is it just something that, hey, this looks kind of cool. Let's try it sometime. I thought it would be fun for our family and good for Molly. Like, I think it's really good for kids' brains to do stuff like this. And and um, and so Rob had been playing for a while. A friend of ours had written a, a d and game um, that was based on like I'm gonna ruin this I'm gonna completely screw this up but like they were like the superheroes before I want to say oh. hooligans and hideouts yes uh, yeah something like that we always got the name wrong too so I was afraid to say it because right. I knew I'm like we always butchered the name um but it was a, yeah so he was playing that with uh, with a couple of our friends and he would go and that was sort of his thing like um you know, go hang out and go de-stress and go, you know, go play D and D with your friends, and I'll stay home with Molly. And and um, and he would say all the time, like, you really need to play. Like, you would love this. And um, but once again, COVID. Right. Um, so we never <laughs> quite, you know, have been able to make that. We were just about to start uh, something, and and then we could, you know, we can't meet now um, in at live like that. And so then he said, well, you know. Ansel's doing this thing. Why don't we try his? You know, like he just invited us to his. Let's try his. And um, I would prefer to play in person. I think in order to feel a little bit more connected and to and to kind of I don't know. I just think it might have been a little less distracting for me because video can be very distracting to me, especially like you've got some people eating and you have some people and that or there's noise in the background. You know, like. I, there's just all, you know how that is now. No, I do, this, and, all and this Zoom. I yeah. I agree a hundred percent. Like I've done roll twenty for a while, and I would much rather just go to the store that's three blocks away and sit at the table with even. It doesn't even have to be people I know. I just uh -huh. want to 
be there. <laughs> yeah. So I, I get so it. I, 100%. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so I never had that experience. I still haven't had that experience. So of using Roll20 or, or being in person? Or, no, no, to be in person. So that is still on my list. Like, I want to try that, you know, and, um, and, uh, and so, yeah, so that is going to happen at some point um, once we get, uh, once we figure out how to deal with COVID, then, then we'll be able to all get together again, you know, and I can play in person. And I think that will, um, I think that will help. And I, and I think I would rather play it first with people that I know um, rather than strangers to start out with. That, that makes a so. lot of sense. I, uh. I always get the last name wrong, but Scott Casper, the guy that, yes. that you were just talking about. He's the one who wrote the game. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I was supposed to play in one of his games at Greyhawk Con at the beginning oh. of October, but had to bail out because of, you know, taking care of family. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, no, I kind of want, I, I kind of know Scott. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a really, he's very gifted at yeah. what he does. Yeah. So, um, but I never got to play. But I know Rob really loved the Hoodlums and Hideouts. And um, if that's how you, if that's the right, I, <laughs> I, I think we're right, right? believe. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, he, Rob always enjoyed playing that. Yeah. Um, and but yeah there are so many though and and we're right there we're like only an hour away from where hour and a half maybe um from where gary gerga what's his name gerga gerga what's his name i'm this everyone's gonna hate me now uh, that listens to you because they're gonna be like why did you have this moron on no um, they're not gonna hate name? you Gygax. Yeah, he like he created D, &D yep. like an hour and a half from here in like geneva so um yeah, so I, you know, I don't know. I just want to throw that in, like, <laughs> <laughs> as if that has any significance. But, uh, but we, I've always wanted to go when we go to like Geneva next. We're like, oh my god, we have to go see. Like, there are some sites you can see. Yeah, based the, on that. But that's cool. So I've always been interested. You know, I'm, I'm definitely interested. I just didn't have any anyone in my world that played it when I was in high school. I didn't have anybody ever. You know, and, and then Rob didn't play it. Our whole he just started playing it a couple of years ago with Chris from Blue Box and Scott Casper and um, and so he didn't really he didn't really introduce it at any point to us and um, so now this was sort of our this was Molly's first time playing too except she did play it uh, in an improv an improv group called Improvised D and D. She played. She got to DM, and it was her first time even playing. And she wrote the world. <laughs> and that's awesome. And had to DM in front of an audience, and she had never even played D and D. So she she killed it. She did a great job, but it was like kind of shocking to. I would add. I would add. I would. I would have. Um, I wish that I had played younger i wish someone had introduced me to it um in high school you know like i wish it had been something i had done my whole adult life because it just seems like such a great um use of your time and like uh you and like really challenging your brain in a completely different way and um and uh and also just that community like just you know uh having that time with people doing something that's um that's so outside of the world you know what I mean that's just yeah. really it's such a unique experience and there are so many endless ways to play you know and endless stories and um so I, I really wish that I had started a long time ago and I really hope that I can find um, a group that, you know, that, uh, that I click with. I really, I liked that first group, but they don't play as a group normally, you know, like oh, it's not gotcha. like, it was just sort of a one-time thing, you know, but, uh, well, yeah, maybe so you need to go convince them somebody. to, to be a group. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think they're in other groups. Oh, um, I gotcha. I think they have other groups, but, 
Uh, but, you know, I, I just think that it was some, I wish it was something that we had been doing all along because I think it would have, I, I, I think it only enriches your life, you know, if you're, if you can click in right way. Um, I can see how this is something that's, there's, there's just really no downside to it. And it just is, it's such a, uh, I, I just feel like it, it, just uses your brain in a way that you don't normally get to i agree and, I, and there's nothing bad comes of that no no there's not well i know that you uh want to play in person and i'm all for that but well thank you so much for um, coming on the that. show yeah yeah we would love it well, sharing you your experience me. oh it's been so much fun even with the discord problems <laughs> <laughs> was causing discord yeah <laughs> well for me myself and i and martha southgate thank you so much for listening to this week's show mahalo and have a great day all right thank you so much oh thank you that was nice thank you again thank you for listening to the kevin long show you can find the website southgatemediagroup.com at southgatemediagroup.com you can find us on Facebook at The Kevin Long Show. You can find us on Twitter at The Kevin Long SH1. Or you can just email us at TheKevinLongShow at gmail.com. 